Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to a tech moment on Cannabis Tech. I'm your host, Christina Etter. In this podcast, we take just a few minutes to talk about some of the exciting innovations in technology and science within the cannabis and hemp industries. In this cannabis industry, providing quality cannabis is absolutely critical. And often entire crops might be contaminated or need to be destroyed because of microbials or other uh, toxins and contaminants in the flower. However, thanks to technology, there may be a new way to combat this problem and save those valuable crops. Today, I am speaking with Jill Ellsworth, who is the founder and CEO of Willow Industries. And she's here to talk to us about Willow Pure, which is really the Brita filter for cannabis cultivators. Welcome to the show, Jill. Thank you for having me. So talk to me a little bit about Willow Industries. Tell me how the company came to be and what kind of led you down this path to create Willow Pure. Of course. So I'm an entrepreneur at heart and I come from the food and beverage industry, the natural food and beverage industry. I owned a cold press juice company and a natural beverage distribution business. As I was uh, leaving those businesses, I started looking at cannabis. And what I was finding was that there were no regulations that I was used to seeing in the beverage world. For instance, there was no requirement for essentially kill step, which um, for the beverage world was we had to put our juices through a process to make sure that there was no contaminants on the back end when consumers purchased it. Um, so I, you know, I had a light bulb moment and found that I wanted to start a company that was going to focus on consumer safety and it was going to be a solution to cultivators to get rid of these contaminants that they were seeing in the flower and that they were required to be tested for. There's no way to get rid of them. And so the light bulb moment occurred and that was the impetus for starting Willow. Fantastic. And you know, these crops are so valuable in the first place. Obviously farmers, the last thing they want to do is learn that their product has been contaminated and that there's, that they can't do anything with it. So obviously having the solution on the back end to kind of help with that is, is very valuable to the cultivators. So let's talk a little more specifically about the technology behind Willow Pure. How does the system actually work and what kind of contaminants can it help prevent? So we use ozone gas as the medium in which to degrade microbial contamination. So we developed a proprietary chamber that pulls in oxygen, it concentrates that, it converts it to ozone, and then ozone floods the chamber. Now ozone acts as the oxidant for the microbial contaminant. So it will break down um, contaminants that we're used to seeing um, be, and also being tested for. So mold, yeast, bacteria, mildew, E. coli, salmonella, and listeria. And those are the tests that are being tested at the state level. So the ozone oxidizes those contaminants on the flower. Once the treatment time is done, you have clean cannabis. But most importantly, and this is what our R&D was uh, really meant to do in the very beginning, was make sure that there's no degradation to the efficacy properties of the flower. So we don't change the color, the structure, but most importantly, we do not change the terpenes or potency. Well, that's absolutely good to know. I know just through you know, my own interaction in the industry and through social media outlets and one thing and another, that is a big concern customers have a lot of times when you are dealing with different processes to, to help make sure that the product is clean is does it then lose any potency? So it's nice to hear that it doesn't actually affect that product at all. Now let's talk a little bit about scalability. So is this technology just mainly intended for the larger grows or do you have a scalable option that that will help this grow with the with the cultivator we do have scalable options. So we have currently three models. We have a five pound model for the craft cultivator. We have a 20 pound model, which is essentially our workhorse and a, one of our most popular models. And then we have a 40 pound for the large, um, you know, large scale operators. And uh, we ship our 20 pound machine all over the country. So you, you don't have to be in our home state of Colorado to give our tech a try. You can rent our technology and we'll ship it to you, you use it right in the house. It's a mobile system, so it's on wheels, it moves through standard doors, really easy to use. You simply just plug it in, uh, load up the trays with fresh flour, and press start. We've helped, uh, we've designed everything else on the back end so that the treatment times and everything else is 
uh, baked right into the system. That's fantastic. It sounds like it's fairly easy to use. Now, you mentioned just briefly there about shipping all over the United States. Talk a little bit about those on-site services that you offer. You said that there's um, rentals or leasing capabilities. Can you talk a little bit about the, the, the business side of Willow Industries? Of course. We are currently operating in 10 states. And um, if you're not in Colorado, which in Colorado, we have an on-site service business where we show up at your cultivation and we clean all of the flour for you. But in other states, clearly that's not feasible right now as we're growing the company. So we ship you the machine. It's a week rental. The, the prices uh, vary, but typically a one week rental is $5,000. And then a lot of our rental clients move into our long-term leases. And so, you know, you get to try it before you buy it and then get to have it on site um, for your use all the time. So you could be using this type of technology preventatively rather than reactively if, you know, by chance fail a test. Gotcha. Well, that's really good to know. What else is on the horizon for Willow Industries here in the future? And I guess one of the questions I would have then, if you're in 10 states here, are you looking at all into branching maybe into Canada or into other markets as the, as the cannabis market continues to flourish? We are definitely uh, looking to move into the international markets, especially Canada. Um, it's kind of like the closest, uh, the closest neighbor that we're, we're working on right now. But we just closed a, a rather large fundraising round, and that's going to give us the horsepower to, to really increase our sales and marketing and to keep innovating around the tech. You know, what we have right now is great and it works, but we are continuing to innovate within our system, make it uh, a little more user friendly in terms of the software back end, uh, fitting into the entire supply chain, and then continuing to grow the company in a lot of the bigger markets. So California, we're going to have a lot of presence there and, uh, and just keep pushing this forward and, and keep letting people understand that, you know, we are focused on consumer safety and look to be uh, the cannabis safety brand. Brand. That's fabulous, Jill. Um, the last thing I'm going to ask you to provide for our audience is how can they get a hold of Willow Industries or how can they contact you if they want to be, if they want more information? Of course. Go to willowindustries.com. We have a plethora of information on our website. We have data. We have uh, of lots of information. And, you know, feel free to reach out to me. My email is jill at willowindustries.com. I'm always happy to answer questions and, you know, talk to anybody passionate about tech in the industry. Fantastic. Thanks so much for your time and joining us here on the Tech Moment today, Jill. I really appreciate it. Thank you for having me.